Welcome to Steve Allen's Music Room, where the music is the start of something big. Visiting Steve in the Music Room, longtime friend, Steve Lawrence. Good friend, Edie Gourmet. And the multi-talented performer who's more than a friend, Jane Meadows. Terry Gibbs and his all-star orchestra. And of course, Steve Allen. The first thing I want to explain is that this is a show called Music Room. You've already heard Bill Maher, the announcer, mention that. And that means we are not going to be doing comedy. Right, Terry Gibbs? No, no comedy. There'll be none of this. None of that stuff. Minimum of this. And absolutely none of this. Unless, unless something untoward is said. Now, how many other comedians do you know who use words like I've untoward? I've never heard anybody use that at all. Nobody in the business. That's why they're all in Las Vegas making a million and I'm stuck here. But that's all right, ladies and gentlemen. They're all on tour, right. <laughs> I'll handle the jokes, Frank, if you don't mind. But seriously, this is a musical show. We just can't resist horsing around. We don't really require a studio audience even, because if anybody did happen to say anything funny this evening, we would just take this little device. Anyway, if we were in a, sp no, now I can't stop it. How do you like that? <laughs> But we do have over there in the middle distance, Terry Gibbs and his all-star orchestra. We're going to put them to work in a moment. Yay. And these guys are really all-stars, not of the music business, of course. Oh, no. Some of them are into <laughs> auto racing. Some are movie Anything. actors, but they are stars of one kind or another and great players. But first, we have a young whippersnapper, our announcer and sidekick, Bill Maher. Come on in, Bill. <laughs> Thank you, Steve. I was getting awfully hot by that fireplace over there. <laughs> you were hanging over by the fireplace. Yeah. I've always wanted to be a sh on a show where I could gather around the piano. Isn't it nice and homey? I seem to be gathering alone here today. <laughs> I'm around the piano, and what else can you gather around in this business? Not much. Besides maybe Orson Welles. But <laughs> funny things you can gather around, and we're gathered around. Bill is saying a lot of funny things. I wish you folks could hear him. <laughs> maybe uh, if I, I use the bag. I here, find him very, uh, very amusing. Uh, oh, no, 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 not, not, yet, yet, yet. I'm not old enough to know how to play with that yet. <laughs> Just starting out in the business. You're from... yeah. There we are. Whoops, it, it tickles. Yeah. It's a I just want to say... <laughs> I mean, there we are. Try to be serious. It's I'm not, sorry. Not too easy. You know, I, I was trying, but I was in the, the... We're doing this for the Disney cable, and I was up at the executive office today, and the executives, all they all wear the big ears, which I thought was amazing. <laughs> yes, and they use those long black tails for antennas. That's the <laughs> it's nice It's very part. hard to be serious when that happens. So nothing... But with this uh, particular situation, I think we're going to have no trouble at all being serious. I'll do my best. Uh, we'll do I it I think right the audience now. is with us already. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> anyway, here are Terry Gibbs and his 12 Angry Men. <laughs> Playing, and I'm going to join you guys. Ready? Let's, in fact, let's uh, mosey over. Have you ever seen any big time moseying? Not this, is, this is how it works. We're all going to play some blues just so you'll get to meet Terry and the gang. Here we are. Hey.
great. Yeah, <laughs> that was great. <laughs> I just wanted to establish that much so you know that when we say that's an all-star band, that's exactly uh, what it is. You know, today's a very special day for us here. I don't want you to uh, think that we have a lot of unspecial days, but I say that because the two people I'm about to introduce are two of my oldest friends. Well, actually, they aren't my oldest friends, but they're still young and exciting performers. It's just that I have known them for a very long time. Our early relationship on the old Tonight Show has continued, long and enduring friendship. And their relationship from the Tonight Show has developed very well, too. For example, it's grown into a 26-year marriage, two great children. You all know who I'm talking about, of course. Steve Lawrence and Edie Gourmet. Here they are. That's terrific. We're just listening backstage, and it absolutely sounds wonderful. The band is uh, absolutely sensational. Great Ter band. Terry Gibbs and his 15 alimony jumpers. <laughs> you know, I was noticing earlier, none uh -huh. of these guys read music. They all learn from the Roy Clark Large Notes Songbook. <laughs> we have some surprises we're going to spring on you guys a little bit later. We have some photographs that we're uh, going to bring in. We also have some, uh, some film clips. As a matter of fact, Fred, you want to just uh, lay a little one of those surprises on them at the moment? Oh, yes. We take you back. Are you ready to be taken aback? No. Oh, yeah. I mean, <laughs> this, this audience has been taken aback for the last half hour. So I know what a shock it was to them. But uh, we take you back now. As a matter of fact, a young man in the audience asked us, did you not, when the old Sunday night uh, comedy show started. And it must have been in late June of 1956, as we <clears throat> told him a few minutes ago before we came on the air. Because what you're going to see now is something from... July 1st, 1956. You two don't even know what this is, but we have a monitor over here, so okay. you'll be able to watch it as it occurs. Boy, I practice and practice and practice, but I just can't seem to improve. Maybe you ought to practice. The stage is empty downstairs. You know, nobody's there, and we're all dressed. Why don't we pick up the rest of the stuff? Hey, that's a good idea. Get the rest of the stuff, and we'll go down. Okay. There we go. Okay? Yeah, let's go. We're a troop, a troop, adorable troop who perform at the drop of the hat. We're a band of balladeers of whom no one ever hears before. I sing flat. We help play to undisputable fame. Wherever we went, they spread the welcome mat. Before the crown, that is, until some pretty clown That I sing flat At the Met, we met the mezzo soprano Generously endowed Her shape was reminiscent of a heart Well, she gave me such a squeeze That I buckled at the knees And for the first time in my life I sang shark mm, What's the use? This gal is cooking our goose You'll have to get on pitch And that is that to take this gal in tow and teach her everything I know. Then maybe when we've had a little chat. I won't sing flat. <laughs> Do exactly as I ask. Okay. <clears throat> take the tone into your mask. My mask? In your diaphragm, let it ring. Bend your knees, bow your chin, take a breath, hold it in, tilt your head, strike a pose, now sing.
Splendid, splendid, marvelous, wonderful. That was quick. At last you've mastered the trick. Now I will have to give my back a pet. A pet. Pet. <laughs> now I'm singing properly. It's you who's slightly out of key. We're no better off than where we started at. So if we want this song to end, we'll achieve the perfect blend. If we buy. You remember uh, doing that number? Yes, I do, but I, I uh, never saw it because uh, there was no we tape. We were live. We were live at that yeah. point. There was no tape. That's you know, wonderful. Let's see. Thank you very much. The funny much. thing is, that was, as I said, 1956, and you guys look about four years older now well. instead of 400, as you should. <laughs> it's so nice of you to say that, Steve. It's true. Well, we're, we're not the original Steve and Edie. <laughs> <laughs> we have road companies that go out all well, as we've already established, the name of the show is Music Room. Yes. And uh, well, there'll be a little Tom Full Reef. As a matter of fact, Tom will be in in a minute to fool with you. <laughs> but right now, why don't we put you back to work singing? With huh? great pleasure. Okay. Okay. Help yourself to me, our orchestra, dear. ladies and germs. Yeah. Stephen Eady.
must ask you, Steve, how does it feel to live with my favorite singer? Well, I, I must say, it really is terrific. You know, when you live with your favorite singer, it's, uh, you know, of course, every once in a while, Tony Bennett's not the easiest ah! guy to get along with, but uh, it is uh, interesting. And I must say, in all the years that we've been married, 26 years now, and five years that we spent uh, together prior to that, I have never, ever tired of listening to her sing. It's just, oh, uh, Stevie. Yeah. Nobody ever would. No. Yeah. Thank you very much. You're very I never, welcome. I never tire of you either, Steve. Well, I'm tired of hearing you sing. <laughs> I'll be tired of you. We'll yeah. Oh, I love that. Oh, that's a good sign, but we didn't clear it. Ah, uh, then don't didn't sing clear it my for throat sure. either. Um, I'm looking at a list of marvelous songs. We have a lot of music here at the uh, piano. I wish we had about a nine-hour show, to tell you the truth, because we'll never get it all in, in one hour. But I'm looking at a piece of sheet music I'll share with you folks at home. Uh, the show was Golden Rainbow, the stars, as you see, the name in light, Steve Lawrence and Edie Gourmet. This was on Broadway, for those of you who might live in Butte, Montana, not get to New York too often. <laughs> Although, I have nothing against Butte, and a few of your Buttes out in the audience. <laughs> but the song is I Gotta Be Me, and this comes yes. under the heading, since you introduced it on Broadway, a song you always have to do, right? Yes, it does. As a matter of fact, I uh, introduced it, as you say, in the show, and then Sammy Davis uh, uh, Jr. recorded it, and it became a very big hit, uh, and I'm very happy for him. <laughs> but it... Uh... It was a lovely song, and it, uh, it meant a great deal to all of us, and the show. Would you do us the honor of singing sure. it now? with great pleasure. And I'd... with that tempo? Yeah, sure. All right, I hope we have Bye. a band. Yeah, we do. Whether I'm right or whether I'm wrong Whether I find a place in this world or never belong Life that keeps me alive I've got to be me I've got to be me The dream that I see Makes me what I am That faraway prize A world of success Is waiting for me If I a chance an editorial comment yes who's going to stop me you're the editor Is the <laughs> isn't it nice to hear a program with no lousy music we'll change that here's one of the worst songs we'll ever... <laughs> it's just the shank of the evening uh, yes that's another song and shanks again <laughs> now then you do a lot of Spanish songs. As a matter of fact, not only do you have millions of uh, Anglo fans. I am the fans, biggest 
I am the biggest Spanish artist all over the world. Yeah. I really am. And uh, you speak Spanish fluently. Well, she course. records under the name of Julio Inglesis. That's, right. <laughs> That's my trick. Ah, that'll do it. Splendid. No, yes. I'm, I'm only no, kidding, does. of course. Does. I'm not the it's, biggest. Uh, I'm, uh, I'm being facetious. No, no, it, it's. Uh, I do sell a lot of uh, a lot of records in the um, door to door. <laughs> Yes, I do. I, I sell a lot of records. I may, well, I don't. I don't know if I sell them or not, but I make a lot of records in uh, Spanish. I hear them on the radio. Yes, and uh, I'm very, very fond of a song. As a matter of fact, I intend to do in my very, very next album, and uh, it's called Carne Asada. The idea of the song, as I understand it, is that the Spanish language. So we have some people. Somebody did. Those. That's what they had for dinner. But uh, come in, Tommy. This is oh, Tommy hi. Tedesco, one of the great Latino guitarists. Yes. Hi. hi. Yeah. He himself is Armenian, but he plays a Latino guitar. <laughs> anyway, the, the point of this song is that the Spanish language is so inherently romantic, a romance language, that no matter what you sing, it sounds like a love song. That's yes. True. With that in mind. With this song, it helps a lot because the whole song is a menu in Spanish. <laughs> right. I'll pick up the check. Yeah. They're not writing them like that anymore. Thank God. Anyway. <laughs> I love it. I think it's great. They wised up. The, uh, the fact that the two of you are here leads me to make the uh, not untoward suggestion, there's that word again, that you sing a song that I love to hear you do called The Two of Us. Yes, this is uh, a song that we recorded uh, some years ago, and it's, uh, it's just a lovely, happy little feel to it. I just yeah. love this song. Okay. Work is through. Just carry on, oh, can't wait to 
people talk, they smile and say they know it won't last. We're holding on fast to a dream. We don't know what they mean. It's just the two of us. And we will still be traveling on. We'll say it again. It's just the two of us. And we'll be always traveling on. One more time. In case you tune in late, is Music Room, and this really is my music room. And therefore, it's not that odd that my wife would be in the dining room and in the kitchen. Well, we should get her right. out of that room and into this room. Let's and see what she... the two of us, it'll be the four of us. Here's Janie Bird. Janie okay. Bird, where are you, Janie? Dos tamales, oh tres goodness. enchiladas, and a little conchita roll. Oh. Yes. Did you? Oh, I tell you, that is I, wonderful. You know how simple-minded I am. I still feel like a teenager, and yet it was 32 years ago, this July, that I met this one. And one of the first dates we had, he took me over to his radio show, and the boy singer on the show was Steve Lawrence, who was really a boy. That's you were right. in high school. Yeah. What is he, a girl now? What is it? <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's true. Uh, uh, that, was, that was a radio show that you came in from California at that 50, time. Yeah. 52 was, or 3. I think, I believe it was, it was, the, it was a, 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 a theater, a, C a Plymouth Theater, and you were doing yeah. a radio show for, from, CBS, for right. CBS at that time. And right. it was in 52. That's right. And then about a year, and matter of fact, it was a year later that he did the pilot for the NBC show, and Stevie probably doesn't remember. You called me up and you said, Jane, I've got a problem. And I said, what is it, Stevie? You said, you remember you couldn't wear white shirts on television? Yes. I guess you still can't. And you said, they want me to wear a pastel shirt. Where do I buy a pastel shirt? And I said, I don't know, Stevie. And you said, you lived in Brooklyn. Right. You lived in the Bronx, That's right? That's right. And, he, and you said to me, I've been to every one of my friends in Brooklyn and nobody has a pastel shirt. <laughs> <laughs> never heard of one. I don't think any of my friends in Brooklyn know what pastel meant. <laughs> Well, Probably. do you remember the pilot you all made? Yes, I do. As Never a matter of fact, I, I was fortunate enough to be selected to do that show with Steve. Uh, yes. In 1953, we did the original Kinescope uh, yeah. for NBC. Do you remember the theater? Yes. There was no staircase to get up to the audience. You had to climb a, a ladder. ladder. Right. To get a, and you had no audience that night. In fact, I came to the theater with about 20 or 25 friends. He met me at the door and said, oh, thank God, it's an audience. Well, you guys were going together at that time. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah we've been going together. You know what? <laughs> when, I tell, when I tell this story to people, uh, I tell them that uh, Steve was in, at Thomas Jefferson High School in mm -hmm. Brooklyn, and uh, the truant officer used to be at the theater, and they said, truant officer? What's that? Nobody today knows what a truant officer is. No, because everybody's playing hooky all the time. Yes, uh, <laughs> Even the officer truant in charge of truant. We have a young uh, truant right here. It's Bill. all very easy to Bill remember this, but I have the evidence right here. I was rummaging around in some old drawers, oh. Steve. How I was dressed isn't important. The point is, <laughs> I have some pictures here I thought might be, uh, as I say, embarrassing. And uh, Ancient look history. Look at that. How about look at that? This. Who's that guy? This? Who's that? That's, uh, that's, uh, that's, uh, that's Steve. Who's that's you. That's me. And that's Gene Rayburn. Gene Rayburn. Gene Rayburn. Yeah. He was right. the first announcer oh, on the show, right? Yes, I'll be darned. Hmm. And let's look at another one in there and see what our friend Bill has uh, dug up from the old files. Oh, yes. Lady, how short your hair was. Well, Steve uh, sent me a memo and said my hair was too long to make it uh, lighter, and uh, I didn't really plan to cut it, but I did make it lighter, and they gave me a permanent, burned all my hair off, and uh, that was the result of that Can we see that, that again? One. I think it's I saw Andy Williams behind Edie yeah, on that. And uh, Andy John Williams is always behind Edie. That was one of the problems <laughs> in the early days. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, and there's Gene Rayburn over to the right of, mm -hmm. uh, or the left as you look at it, of, of yeah. uh, Jonathan Winters. How many people were introduced on that show? Jonathan Winters, Andy? I think the list is probably endless because and all the, the, the parade of, of uh, Nye, performers, of comedians, Posten, of singers, Posten, of, of Posten, writers. Yeah. A lot of great ones. Yeah. A lot of wonderful people made the debut on that show. Okay, let's see what, oh, there's another one. There's, uh, when yes. we did the show Steve. here in Los Angeles, there's Stevie and Andy. And uh, me, Jane. and that's when you were doing the movie, The Benny Goodman Story. Oh, well, that's, that's right. Yes. What are you explaining to well. Andy there? Uh, where I got my jacket, I think. <laughs> <laughs> 
Well, you need to add a little I got his we laugh down, you know? You know that? We were all kind of yeah. cute. Yeah. I never thought well, so. Well, you then. look exactly the same today. You too. I used to think I was really lousy looking. Oh. No. I really did. And really? now when I look at these pictures, I wasn't so bad looking. You were adorable. <laughs> you were adorable. adorable. You were always beautiful. What this, is that? this is what we used to call the Allen All Stars. Yes, we right. would dress up like jerks, you know, like baseball or football or basketball. And here we were playing some All Stars, real pros. And uh, that's Stevie there in the background. And that's you in the Look at playing left guard. In the foreground. That's me being left out. Yeah. yeah. And Bob Cousy. Bob Cousy. Bob Cousy. Who is he? No, the, Bob, Bob Cousy is, is a another basketball fellow. player. Bob oh. Cousy is a cowboy who looks very much like Bob Cousy. Ah. That's... Yeah. Yeah. Let me see what else we have here. Ah, there you are. Oh, who is that? There's Dwight Hemian. Dwight Hemian, our director at the time, Andy Williams. Looks and... like you're being deported there. Steve. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> this... As a matter of fact, this, this, uh, this photograph now appears in 13 states and post office throughout the country. <laughs> Do we have any more pictures before yes. we uh, relieve you of your duties? Well. <laughs> there well, are Edie and Andy again. Ah, uh, there they are. That's a darling. Edie and Andy. Just think, you might have married... A... <laughs> what are you saying? What are you Thrilled. Saying? You might have married Andy Williams. Never. Who, me? <laughs> <laughs> I, I mean, he, he, I, he wasn't such a good kisser. That's what it is. Well, so He's a cute still guy, pictures. Now we have a motion picture. Steve Lawrence... Are you going to give us copies has, of these? These are yours. Yes. You got oh, it. Yes. Steve Lawrence it. has always had uh, an irrepressible sense of humor. And I know because I've tried to repress it for years. <laughs> but he was always ready with a joke. And we have a little piece of evidence testifying to that, Steve-O. Roll the uh, film, as we say in the film rolling business. So we've had as guests the uh, singers who used to be regulars with us on the old Tonight Show. You know, Pat Kirby and Andy Williams. And now tonight we have Edie Gourmet. And here is Steve Lawrence. <laughs> Steve, how have things been going for you? Pretty good, Steve. I've been keeping very busy. Mostly uh -huh. with uh, personal appearances, mostly nightclubs, though. You know, working in a nightclub is, is much different than working on television. How's that? Well, you have to do more. It seems that you have to sing and dance and tell a story or two. I was thinking tonight, as a matter of fact, maybe I would tell a joke or two on the show. Well, we wanted you to sing, Steve. Well, okay, go ahead. Well, try you a know, joke. instead of the song, it runs yeah. about the same instead time. Instead of the song? Well, I, maybe I would tell the joke, you know. All right, try it. Mm -hmm. Well, this first story is about this guy that goes home every night from the office, and just before he gets to the house, he stops at a bar for a drink. Mm -hmm. And one night, on his way home, he stopped at the bar, and he walks in, and he was shocked. Behind the bar, there was standing a horse. A horse? Wearing the apron, polishing the glass. I see. <laughs> so he just stood there with his mouth open, uh -huh. and finally the horse noticed this, and he says, Hey, what are you looking at? So the guy says, well, When did the cow sell the place? <laughs> Gentlemen, curious to sing. <laughs> <laughs> Your voices were, or yes. is that the yes. kinescope? Uh, that's the first thing that, that I think most people notice about when, you know, when you throw back uh, 20 some odd years, sure. the pitch of your voice is, is higher. And I, I want you, Bill, be, how old are you now? I'm uh, 28, but I'm big for my age. That's true. <laughs> but someday you will look at a tape of this show you're doing right now and you will say, my, how high my voice is. Yes, that's why I'm purposely trying to speak low. <laughs> Edie's voice was I always high. Had. Well, his voice hadn't Edie. changed yet there. He's 17 years old. Just well, mine just changed now. Edie's, Edie's a mere stripling. Edie's, Edie's used to sound like Minnie Mouse. At Thank that, you. At, no, well, no, I mean, you know, what a guy. What a guy. A Here we are, Mickey and Minnie. Edie's still, that's right. Hi, Jane. Hi, Jane. Hi. It sounds like all those sitcoms, you know. Hi, Jane. A moment ago, you said on to yourself, uh, on a cue, sing, Steve. I wish you would sing something else for us. What would you like to do? This is uh, a beautiful song. <laughs> this is a song of yours, as a matter of fact. Oh, you're going to do that one? Yes, I think I'm going to I'm going to mosey over to the band, and you can I introduce taught him all the mosey he knows. Mosey music. Some mosey music. up new 
nobody cares Sometimes it gets a little lonesome true But that's all right I never have to dust those empty chairs And I'll play in the field Bachelor man, long as I can, that's what I'll be My, my, my future is sealed Bide my time, Mr. and I play in the field Uh, that's such a wonderful song, and Steve Allen was the composer. I don't know if even you guys music. remember this because you've done a million of my songs over the years, but uh, that was from the same score as Impossible, and this could be the start of something. Right. Uh, a show uh, called The Bachelor. Bachelor. The Bachelor. Bachelor. Right. Right. You Won have a lot of awards. Well, speaking in your of eye. awards, yes, I have a film clip of you two. I don't know if you remember it or not, and it's my favorite. You're singing "Don It, Baby, That's Love." Do you remember? No. No. <laughs> You don't. It's from the old show, from well, the Tonight Show. But it's 104 years ago. Yeah. Well, I don't have anything from the old show because uh, we did it all live. Right. And uh, the only way that you could get a copy of it in those days was something called a kinescope. Yeah. And I remember it cost $160, and that's what you paid me a year. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh... <laughs> well... You have something we're going to run now? Yeah, we're going to run it now, right, right. Fred? Yeah. Darn it, baby, that's love. <laughs> Look at me, wish that we could always be so young and gay. That's us today, today. Look ahead, can't you see how our future is gonna be? When I'm not young and you're not gay. <laughs> to me, you'll always seem that way. Someday you think you will start to spread Your fallen arches will drop like lead You'll find your beautiful smile is flat No hair atop of your shiny head Don't let the wrinkles upset you I'll still be happy I met you Darn it, baby, that's You wear out your teething ring Your baby body will be out in the spring You'll lose your talent for rattling Your past and that night can see But though you stop being childish
googly googly goo boo boo baby baby boo 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 dum 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 I sure hope that, that, that people enjoy watching something like that because to me, and I treasure. think I'm speaking for all of us for that matter, it really is a treasure. I really am loving it. Yeah, that. and seeing Martha. Yeah, yeah. Martha, Martha, Martha was on the show Marie. so often in the old days, and she's such a great singer, too. Yes, yeah, she And is. a genius. Yeah, yeah. We must have her on the show soon. Could you invite us back and have Martha Ray on the show? I'm on every single show. <laughs> <laughs> you know, we mentioned earlier how many years the four of us have been friends, and uh, several months ago I had the pleasure of uh, attending a celebration, and it was indeed that, of Stephen Eadie's 25th wedding anniversary. And uh, because of our long friendship, I uh, had been asked to say the traditional few words, and all I could think of to say was, uh, you know, to express my love. So I decided to do it in the form of a song, and I'd like to do it for you now. It's called Steve and Eadie. and Edie, there they are, who'd have dreamed they'd come this far, seems like only yesterday he met her. Both too young to have a past. People said it wouldn't last Seems like only yesterday They married Who knows when love will come along Say that a love will stay when so many go wrong. But Steve and Edie, through the years, sometimes laughs and sometimes tears. May they stay together. As today Terry shows the melody said <laughs> it wouldn't last seems like only yesterday they married who knows when love will come along Can't 
say that our love will stay when so many go wrong. But Steve and Edie, through the years, sometimes laughs, sometimes tears, may they stay together. As happy as today. Thank you. Thank you. I was uh, over at the children's table, and I had to come over. And... <laughs> you young whippersnapper. Well, I saw I was, you over there snapping your whippersnapper. Come on and talk. <laughs> <laughs> this guy, he, he once called me the funniest young comedian, currently refusing to leave his office. <laughs> and I'll never forgive him for it. But it's been really such a, a privilege to hear you let me in on this uh, kind of seminar in great American pop music. But I thought to close the show, as my unofficial capacity as wise guy here, I'd bring in something uh, from the punk rock side. This is an acid rock tune we thought we'd close the show with for our young viewers. Maybe, you, maybe you've heard of it. It's hot off the presses. And maybe you can finish out with that one. What do you sure. Think about I that? think it'd be terrific. I'll give it a try. Have you sure. ever heard that one? Yeah. Jane, think, you want to... Uh, you slide in. We'll, slide we're going to feature Jane in this. Jane, yeah. Yes. What is Jane? Which when is when I we go, point to you, just sing. Just, just sing anything. Uh, anything when you point to me. No, you sing this. The title. That's right. correct. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah. We ain't got a barrel of money Maybe we're ragged at fire But we'll travel along Singing a song Side by side Oh, we ain't know it's gonna be tomorrow Maybe it's trouble and sorrow But we'll travel the road Sharing our load Just as long as we're together, it doesn't matter at all when they've all had the quarrels and parted. We'll be the same as we started, just to travel along, singing a song side by side. <laughs> Trouble just as easy as blowing bubbles. What a pair, always walking on air. Life is nothing but a fantasy. Who cares about the weather? What if the sky should fall? What if the sky should fall? What if the sky should fall? Let the little piece of sky. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter at all. When they've all had the troubles and parted, we'll be the same as we. see that playback and I want to hear that playback. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Jane, that was terrific. Anyway, this has been really a... Edie, uh, does, Edie does Jane sigh after a song. It's yeah, an impression yeah. of... Do this. Oh. <laughs> That's what she does. Anyway, it's been a terrific family reunion because you're all really a terrific family. Yes. And so are you folks out there and we thank you for watching Music Room. Let's keep doing it, huh? Bye, everybody. Oh,